Hey guys, Brooke Whipple here. Welcome to my channel. There goes Maisie. I'm back at my shelter that I've been working on a couple episodes. You might have seen me. Beautiful day. It's not been nice weather for a couple weeks. And I'm back out here. Try to get some more work done today. So let's get at it. Uh, this needs a bit more work on this side, and then this side's totally open. And I'm really close to being able to finally get in some debris and stuff on top of this. My goal is to be able to do an overnight here pretty darn soon, so I'm hoping to get some work done today. It's absolutely beautiful, silent, birds, and you know what else today? Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are out. That's okay. It's a beautiful day. Let's do it. There's two. Looks like there's a couple good ones here. Smells so good. Holy cow. Very fragrant. You gotta love cutting into a pine. Even though it's dead, it still smells so good. Another one. Kind of small, but fill in the gaps. Watch out, girl. Go. Watch out. There we go. All right. Got that one. Get warmed up. Getting at this now before it's actually hot out is the way to go. Cause man, once it gets warm, I don't like building. It just gets too hot. So you, you do this hard labor when it's when it's cool in the spring and the fall. And then in the summer you can just fish and relax and enjoy. <laughs> that worked. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I wish you could smell this. Oh, I could just live in that smell. That might make might make an interesting little tabletop. It kind of sits up right on the ground. Maybe. I'm already thinking about accessories. <laughs> accessories to my shelter. That's good. Hi little baby. You having fun? Poles there. 
small one there. Broke. Dang it. Okay, okay, I got a big pile there. So I got some behind the camera. So now I need to knock the nubs off. Finish building this thing out. Yeah, it's all, it's all good. I've got a little piece of paracord on my hatchet today. I had a lot of you guys talk about this last time saying I should paint the handle or drill a hole and put a lanyard or whatever. Because, you know, you put this thing down, it looks exactly like everything else, but this belonged to my grandfather. This is a little Norland, vintage Norland. And I could never paint the handle. And I also, I really don't want to put a hole in the bottom. Although it would be, it would be handy, but for now, today, I'm just doing this. 
It's gorgeous out here. It is so quiet. Super still today. All right, let's get chopping. What I'm going to do is just nub these all up and then place them. Well, it's like watching paint dry, so I'll turn the camera off when I get all this done. I'll turn it back on. We can place these things. So, what I'm going to be doing is building up this side. Right here. Shouldn't be, shouldn't take me too long. I think I got plenty of holes. I think it should be out a little more just so it's easier to put debris on here. Oh man, I got something in my eye. I felt it drop in. See it, but I can feel it. It don't feel good. Can you guys see it? Oh, that is a bad feeling. I can't see it. Of course, I'm blind up close anyway. My contacts in. I have to deal with it. Oh. Alright guys, I just rearranged this a little. Cut some tops off. They were too long. That'd be good for this end. Doesn't look too bad. There you go, baby. So, there's that side. Let me look over here. We still need, still need some work. nice to have this all enclosed. Do a little bit more work here and then I will finish this up eventually too. Hey, what do you think girl? I don't want your butt. You like this in here? Is it cozy? Cool. Lots and lots of room. I mean I can totally be on my knees in here. So yeah. That's nice and solid. Better be or it's gonna it's gonna be ugly. So guys, I'm ready for a break. I'm gonna get a fire going. I'm gonna make myself a wilderness latte. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Looking forward to cleaning this place up. 
It's gonna look so cool when it's done. It's endless firewood. Yeah, <laughs> sitting down is good. And then I stand up. I gotta get, I collected some birch bark on the way out. So I can have a quick fire. water. Ouch. It is fire, Brookie. Oh, nice to sit down. Is that good? That do it. I can go down and get a drink. All right, so here's what I got going, guys. I have an AeroPress coffee maker. And what this does is it makes you a shot of espresso. So it's just like a plunger type system. Pour in some of my amazing coffee that I order online. Oh man, I wish you could smell that. It smells so good. And the other thing I got is my canteen cup. And I brought out some milk. I'm gonna heat this up now too. Not too far into the fire. Ugh, I think that's hot. So now what happens is I pour hot water right into my coffee. gonna make me a shot of espresso. Now what happens is I put the plunger in and I apply pressure and I get espresso. But I gotta set it down to do it. milk is hot. It's time to froth it. Now all you do is put the lid on and you pump it and it'll froth the milk. It's magic. See that? Now, now we're gonna pour it in here. Oh yes. And look. 
look at that. That is amazing. A latte in the wilderness. Ready? Oh, that is so good. Ah, cheers. Oh, yes. <laughs> I got chocolate too. Now we've got something. Coffee and chocolate. That's it right there. Mm. Oh, how about this? about that that's happy time happy tummy happy girl getting happy in the woods getting outside getting happy oh, mocha now it's a mocha well that's pretty darn good you feel so far away though you're close Was your mind that I wanna know? A penny for your thoughts. I wanna know what's inside that heart of yours. Ooh, I feel paper thin. Well guys, that's gonna do it for me. Hope you liked the video. If you haven't seen the other two videos in this series, there's a link below. I'll see you next time. Hopefully, we'll be doing an overnight here real soon. This girl in the woods, she gone. Oh, don't forget to get outside and get happy. Happy. <laughs> <laughs>